Good evening. It's walkout Wednesday. Yes, seven trade unions on strike. The biggest day of strike action for over a decade in this country. It's funny, really, when it comes to the train strikes, well, they're not having much impact because looking out of the window here in the Westminster studio, Lambeth Bridge is clear. The traffic's moving on the embankment. I think what happens now is people simply readjust. They work from home in a way they just couldn't do when we were plagued by train strikes back in the 1990s. And I don't think there's much sympathy, frankly, for the rail workers, in particular the drivers, many of whom earn in excess of £60,000 a year. Our emotions are different, perhaps, when it comes to nurses and others. But the really big one today, and the one that I want to focus on, is the teachers' strike. Not all, but nearly all schools in England closed today. New teachers being offered a paid deal of 9%. Existing teachers being offered a paid deal of 5%. And yes, that is below the rate of inflation. The government insists we have to get inflation down. That's why they can't match 10% or more, which, which many unions are, of course, demanding. But our kids have suffered one hell of a lot. They've suffered terribly during lockdown. They are now paying the price again for what adults are doing to them. And this now a really important time because for many people, mock exams coming up in February, GCSEs, A-levels, just around the corner. So should, should the government just pay up? That's my question tonight. Let me know your thoughts, farage at gbnews.uk.